and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Let's keep going. <clears throat> We're almost done with everything we need to take care of in town, but there's one more thing that we have to take care of. This one's gonna take a little while. I think. Let me see. Uh, I think I've gotten all the red jewels in the area. Let's go talk to Jem just to make sure. He's in this room. He Okay, he's holding 34, yeah. That's basically the number of gems you need at this point of the game. Or you can get at this point of the game. Let's see, I have the location of the mountain temple, but there's one more thing I have to do. And that's wait in line. There is no cutting in line, by the way. You have to go at the end and then wait. So, this should take a few minutes. The reward you get is actually kind of nice. Although, I already got one of the rewards by getting enough red jewels. Let's see. Oh, yeah, move forward. There we go. Also, this doesn't really make any sense. For some reason, they go in through the front of the store, then go around, come out the back, and then get back in line. Consider you can only get everything in there once. Why are they continuing to get in line? Also, apparently, the store has six really loyal customers. Because they don't get new ones. They just get the same ones over and over and over. Okay, thank God, moving. We're halfway there. What do you have to say? So these people are basically just lining up because other people are lining up. It's a vicious cycle. Come on. I could fast forward this or cut this out. But I don't want to. I want you to see just how long this takes if you're playing this on the real console. Okay, why is this line not moving? There we go. Only three more people left. Almost. Come on. Technically, we don't have any money. There's no money system in this game, so... Yeah. Don't worry, we'll still get what we need. By force if we have to. Any minute now. I think it takes like 30 seconds per person, so... Six people, that's about three... Oh, we're moving. Three minutes? A little over, I think. Anyways, just two more people left. What do I have in my inventory? Nothing. Okay. Almost. Come on. Only two more people. Uh, let's see, it's been three minutes already. Yeah, it's over three minutes. It takes about three minutes. Come on. There we go. Also, this is important. Do not accidentally run to the left and then get out of line. Because then you have to start the whole thing all over again. And that's no fun. Oh, no, you don't. You're not taking my place in line. Come on. Yes, I know. That's why I want in the shop. This is a very inefficient way of doing business. There we go. We're not in yet, by the way. We still have to wait for that guy to come out. We're almost in, though. No, wait. There are seven customers if you count the one inside the store. There's only one customer allowed inside at a time. How do these people make money? Come on. Where is he? It's been four minutes already. The episode's already half over and I haven't done anything. Oh, thank God. Um, wait, no, I'm not. Okay, I guess that's a translation error. But anyways, what we get in here is some life medicine. We get a whole one HP. And dark medicine. But unfortunately, since, uh... We already got that from Gem. We don't get to take another one. Anyways, that's all. We waited for about almost five minutes for that. Let's do it again. No, there's no point doing it again. We pretty much done all we need to hear. Let's leave. Anyways, remember that mountain temple they told us about? Well, here's the thing. 
the term temple is kind of used somewhat loosely. Because you see, it's not really a temple in the slightest. It's a giant mass of vines and mushrooms. Apparently this counts as a temple for some reason. There we go. Also, annoying floating skulls everywhere. They're like the Medusa heads in uh, Castlevania. Except less annoying since they don't petrify you or knock you back. Unfortunately, we can't reach mo- Oh, there Oh, come back here. I need to kill them all still. They like to float around the area. One more hit. Okay, two more hits. There we go. But how many are there? There are seven more enemies. Anyways, this area is kind of confused. Also, giant spiders. Spiders are also really annoying because they spit acid. And they can uh, go from one platform to another. Like that. And don't step on the acid, it hurts. Duh. There we go, they're not too hard to deal with. They are kind of annoying when you can't actually reach them, though. Let's take care of this skull. There we go. Oh, let me get that. Uh, how many are there? There's one more. There he is! Yes, yeah, so it's kind of annoying to get all the enemies in this area just because of the skulls. They float off the map and where you can't reach them. Like that. Also, my game is lagging. That was weird. Game. Cooperate. Anyways, let's go to this area. Let's see here. More mushrooms and vine. Well, we haven't really seen mushrooms yet. We will soon. Oh, this, th these things. Basically, there are two types of ramps in this uh, area. Those you can run up. And with, oh, also flute wizards. I don't know why they're here. They're, oh, crap. Anyways, let's clear out the enemies in this area. Also, giant mushrooms. I'm pretty sure this doesn't exist in real life, but I don't know. Maybe it exists somewhere in China. Or not. Ch Actually, no, we're technically in Europe now. Kinda. Also, golden skulls that shoot fireballs at you. They're also very annoying. How many more enemies? Uh, 17. That might actually be a problem. Because I'm already at half health. Ow. That didn't help. Ah, crap. Golden Skull. <laughs> I really should be more careful with these things, but I don't feel like it. Also, there's one red jewel in uh, this dungeon. Nope. Stop moving. Come on, someone drop health. There's a dark space down there. We should get there as soon as we can. Because you really only need will for a few areas in this er in the, this dungeon. This is one of them. After I take out that spider. Come on. Okay, fine. Doesn't want to come over here. Let's see. Anything else in this area? Nope. Okay. Now what the game doesn't tell you is... Uh, let me see. These things, these are ramps. And you have to spin dash on them. Game doesn't really tell you that I went to the wrong one. I just went in a giant circle. That's another reason I don't like this area. It's very confusing in terms of its layout. This is the ramp I wanted. There we go. Game doesn't tell you you can spin dash off those. Anyways, let's head to a dark... Sp the camera kept moving when I didn't. That's kind of funny. And let's save. Now then, let's continue. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, more float, uh, floating flute guys. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Besides, de oh god, spiders. Nothing we can't handle. Ow. Okay, I wasn't even looking at him. That was my fault. Oh, I haven't shown off the uh, powered up Dark Friar yet. Let's just wait a minute. Alright, we need something to hit. You'll do. 
And if we hit A in midair, it does that. Which is basically powerful enough to clear enemies on screen. I don't even have to aim anymore. Yeah, Dark Fryer is really good now. Oh, hey, look, multiple enemies. And they're dead. Let's keep going. Mushrooms everywhere. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to run that way. Ow. That's kind of a dick move to put an enemy at your landing spot. It kind of hurt. Oh, I didn't collect that. I should probably do that. Ow. There we go. Uh, let's see, a spider. Eight and oh, wait, there's one treasure chest in this area. I think that's the red jewel I want. Let's go over here first, though. Because we need a few items to progress in this dungeon. I don't really like this dungeon. It's kind of, it's really confusingly laid out and, uh, kind of bland once you get past the whole giant vines thing. Ow. Let's see, I think this is the area I need to go in first. Oh, come on, I blocked that. Let's see, anything down here besides more floating skulls? Come here. There you go. And now you die. Because one of you is holding a power-up in their bodies. Usually it's the last one I kill. Oh, crap. Come on. There we go. That's not too hard. Oh, I almost ran into that one. I don't feel like hitting them individually. There we go. That one completely missed. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of hard to hit smaller enemies with... The oh, God. With uh, the powered-up Dark Friar. Where'd he go? There he is. I think there are 11 more... Oh, wow, there's a lot of enemies in this area. Most of them are skulls. But yeah, I don't know why they named this area the Mountain Temple. It is not a temple in the slightest. Ow. That's acid. Acid hurts. Uh, seven more enemies. Okay. Also, I don't know what are the... What are those blinking lights in the back? Maybe they're glowing mushrooms. Oh god, there are a lot of skulls in this area. Ow. Let's see if I can take care of them all at once. Also, that unlocked a shortcut back to the entrance, because there's also a lot of backtracking in this area. And a lot of health. Yay, HP. That's always fun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the right area I want to go to. And in here... We get mushroom drops! I'll explain what those are next episode. So, next time on Let's Play the Illus of Illusion of Gaia, not the Illusion of Gaia, just Illusion of Gaia, we continue on the Mountain Temple, and basically we start growing some mushrooms. So, till next time.